the name of our team is we have the acronym vaccine standing for visual analytics for command control and interoperability environments and the mission of vaccine is to create the next generation of technology to allow the integration of massive data sources into an environment and create visuals where people can interact with them and quickly understand the situation and make their decisions from very simple graphical representations. That's the role for the research mission of our school. We recently received a grant from the Department of Homeland Security as part of their Center of Excellence program to create a research team to develop visual analytic environments where we're looking at emergency response and all of the aspects of Homeland Security for the U.S. and we also have international partners. So what we're actually doing is trying to look at applications where people are getting in real time large amounts of data. They're trying to get a better understanding of the situation and what events are occurring so they can do planning, response and recovery from any sort of natural disaster or crime incidents or public health incident. Some of the applications we're working with, one of our, some of our team members are working with the Customs and Border Patrol. Some people are working with cybersecurity applications and developing techniques to protect the government's computer systems when they have billions of transactions per day they're looking at. We're also working with first responders from police officers and other emergency responders for fire departments, sheriff departments, of how do we create something that during a crisis would allow them to get a correct command center view as well as when they go into the field, can they get a display on the mobile device that they're carrying, understand the situation better and all the characteristics of the situation, where are the other team members, where are the areas that they need to search, where do they need to do evacuation. The whole idea of this is there's more and more data that's becoming available through the web, through simulations, through sensors that are being placed in environments. But in a crisis situation, you need to make a very quick decision. And through your visual processing, your eyes are great at giving you quick information and allowing you to pick out the important features quickly. So instead of looking at a table of numbers, we create a graphic display, whether it's information on a map or a building floor plan or other simple visual representations so you can see where your effort should be placed to solve the problem the most quickly. We work with people from biology to mechanical engineering to economics to food and nutrition. Here at Purdue, as with our other partners, doing interdisciplinary research has been a focus and bringing these teams together really allows you to solve the large-scale problems that are facing our nation and the world.